tonne ei päästy aikaisemmin. Fancy office. If you're going to work from home, this is the way to do it. Very clean. It doesn't look like it's had a fire in it in some time. Huh. I actually kind of like these. Well, this is a fancy little gadget. Everything in this room seems to be about making a big impression. All these paintings seem to be very monochromatic. Ah, that'll be here. Big and sturdy. It's empty. There's something odd about it. Like it was left here deliberately. I need him to sign away his claim on the town. You do your thing, I'll do mine. I've spent the past two days getting nowhere on this one design. Keith. That's it! That must be Max, Cordelia's older brother. She mentioned him in the cemetery. So this vision must be from at least six years back. I still can't believe I took that rose from Max's grave. Though I wonder now if Cordelia knew that was going to happen. Hey, did the mail come yet? Did we get- Yes, it came. And everything is as bad as it could be. How are we going to get the Enthon Towers functioning as a sustainable and profitable housing venture if politicians and nitwits won't get their fangs out of our asses? I can go and talk to some people downtown, maybe try something a little more tactful than whatever you've been doing to upset them like this. What's their issue now? 11th hour building code shit. They can smell blood. They know we're doing something good. They don't want anyone to raise the bar because they know it'll mean they'll have to start jumping higher. And? That's it? Just a few more building code hurdles? <sighs> and there's a thing with Keith. I need him to sign away his claim on the towers. You can imagine how willing he is to do that. This place is his baby. <sighs> we had a fight. So... What is it you need from Keith exactly? Look, the bureaucrats are descending. They'll do everything they can to slow us and stop us. I need Keith to give up his claim on his involvement in the towers, but he refuses to sign these. Of course he does. What did you think? He'd bow out of the way? He designed this place, Max. He wants acknowledgement. Well, he's not gonna get it. They're trying to rezone this area before everything's even done. We moved too fast on this, Cordelia. We were so eager to go, 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 that we didn't slow down to consider that people are, well, people. Max, you're not that cynical. Look, it's the High Rollers Lounge we're trying to get into, and they don't like that we're using the express elevator. There's pride at stake. Max, what's up? You've been wound very tight lately. Maybe it's the caffeine. I have been throwing it back lately. <laughs> well, I hate to drive past your defenses, but I did notice the old family photo is out on your desk. You didn't dig that out for nothing. Have you been missing mom and dad? Miss dad? No. <sighs> I got it out so I could look at it and remind myself he wasn't a monster or a giant. He was just a man. A really good businessman who never stepped out of that one role. Uh, and I'm afraid I'm turning into him. I okay. do the same. I put up a facade to deal with meetings and investors. God knows I'm good at it. Look at all we've got. <sighs> but lately, I'm afraid I'm just becoming the facade. Max, you might be a natural at what you do, 
But you're too good-hearted to lose yourself to a role that you play well. It doesn't feel that way, though. Look, even though Mom and Dad are dead, it still feels like they're looking on and making sure I take care of you and Keith. And when I slip up and stop playing my role, it feels like Dad is in the next room, holding the belt. No way, Max. He may have been strict, but he wanted us to be happy above all else. <sighs> That's easy for you to say. Dad made it clear that he liked you. He always forced me to earn it, and he made it clear that he was teaching me to look after the family. <sighs> I don't know. Maybe I'm just trying to fill the shoes of a ghost. Well, I'm glad you brought it up. We'll work on this, okay? Give me the papers. I'll get Keith to sign. Cordelia, he won't. Max, you're a businessman, not a diplomat. You do your thing, I'll do mine. Ah, uh, double look on. And that's how we win it. <laughs> Together. You have a safe in here? I didn't know that. Was that Keith's idea too? No, mine. Guilty. Always wanted to be in a gangster film, yeah, she? <laughs> Oh, it'll be a great little surprise I can impress clients with. Seriously, who has one of these anymore? Max, if you show it off, you're defeating the purpose. <laughs> so, his painting hides a safe. No wonder he was so particular about it. It's an old photo of the family. It's one of the few we have. Mom and Dad weren't really picture people. I love these guys. Though it feels kind of wrong to have things like this hanging as decoration and not know what they're supposed to mean. Max really wanted the skylight. I love to be in here when it's rainy out. The sound of the rain tapping on the glass fills the whole room. I'm getting that feeling again. It's been happening a lot lately. It feels kind of like a quick headache. But it's more than that. What's strange is I feel as though I could almost choose to make it happen. As, as if I could... What's happening to me? Whoa, she was having visions. Probably her first guessing from the reaction she had. This must have been where that black flower came from. Yep, there's the cut stem. Where was that coming from? It felt like it came from inside my head. And whose voice was that? It almost sounded familiar. <sighs> Get a grip. Okay. elämät. <laughs> Yes, that's it. Wait, McAdams and Davies were here? What is going on? Davies. Didn't think I'd see you again. Davies. Didn't think I'd see you again. FBI agents here. Would you please get your brother for us? Papers on the 
table. I'll be up momentarily. What are you doing? Max, I was upstairs being... Would you please get your brother for us? FBI? Miss? Yes. Now please get Max for us. I will, but I need your help. It's hard to explain, but I can sometimes see things. Things that will happen. Usually they're just small, but lately there's something bad. Max, I see him getting killed. Miss Smith, is your brother in danger? Yes. Yeah, well, better. not right now. I I know I sound crazy, but please listen. In my visions, Max is murdered, shot. It's never been like this before. Honey, why are you telling us this? <laughs> Look, <laughs> this is serious. My visions come true. You have to help him. That's what you do, right? I'm serious. This is a new one for me. For me too. We could call McCoy in. <laughs> He'd eat this right up. As if John's diet doesn't have enough nonsense in it already. John McCoy? He can help? Sorry, honey. We are not the police. We are here to see yes. your brother. <laughs> Did I hear my name? We have some questions for you, Mr. Smith. And a warrant. What the hell is this about? There are some papers <laughs> on the dining room table. Get them out of here. So, some questions, huh? What do you got for me? What? What papers? Hmm. It's a bit of a mess. Max has been working on something big, I guess. It's getting pretty big. It'll need to be repotted soon, or clipped. When you cut the stem of one of these, two flower buds will grow out from it. Mom had this great little lesson she'd tell me when we cut it back together. When it looks like some part of your life has come to full flower, don't just sit back self-satisfied. Cut the stem, send the flower off to someone you love, and keep cultivating. You'll double your fortunes in no time. What's this about? Your brother there? He's going to be talking to a judge if he can't explain the situation. Okay, well, what is this situation? That he came into a lot of money. Yeah, from our parents. They died when we were younger. So what? No, not that. This is now the second time a death has brought your brother wealth. What? No! Max wouldn't do anything like that. You're crazy. Why would you think that? We came across the records of a death that was never reported. We found a death certificate and a will, but no examination, no obituary or funeral. Hell, no body. This guy was just made to disappear. It would have slipped right by us if we hadn't gotten an anonymous tip. All this guy's oh, assets ended up in your brother's lap. This is some kind of mistake. What was the name of this person Max supposedly inherited from? Maybe this can all be cleared up. Jeff Therian. Ah. Uh. Ever heard of him? No, never. Exactly. If he existed and had left millions to your brother, you probably would have. I need to get back to work here, Miss Smith. How serious is this accusation? Max can't be involved in something like this. He can't. You have federal agents standing in your home. It's serious. If your brother is found guilty of any of the accusations leveled at him, he's going to find himself in prison for a long time. Have you looked around upstairs yet? No. My other brother is up there. You might want to talk to him. Thanks, but I prefer to be methodical, and I'm working on this room right now. I don't follow offhand advice. I follow the evidence, and I follow my gut. That's all for now. Hmm. Dad. 
jossa pitäisi tehdä. I'm sure I can talk to someone about this vision. They can protect Max for me. Yksi oli harmaana tää näistä ikoneista, eli niin kuin, joo, tää on selvitetty, tää on, tää on se ensimmäinen, mikä oli selvittämättä. I'm looking for John McCoy. The one and only. I was led to believe maybe you could... Well, you just get right to the... Well, okay. All right. You tell me what's going on, maybe I get you in touch with someone on the BPD. <sighs> Anything to distract me from how badly my football game's going. You said your team was losing. What's the game you're watching? Not watching, watching. But I got a live feed of the score. Though it's almost too painful to look at. Goddamn Pat's letting me down here and I got money riding on this. I mean, come on. The Washington Redskins? I figured we'd tear them open like a Christmas present, but no! My brother, Max. He's the one who's gonna die? What evidence do you have? Well... All my life I've had this sense. I've been able to see things that haven't happened yet. Give me a break. And then they come true. I've been having these awful scary visions. And in the Max dies. He gets killed. I heard you help with this sort of thing. You heard wrong. I don't help. I keep an open mind about things, and now someone's playing a practical joke. Who put you up to this? What? No, no one. What can I do to change your mind? You can show me your visions, or show me your dead brother. All right, all right, all right, I'm sorry. This whole week has been lousy, and watching the Pats get ripped apart is no help. But what am I supposed to think? You're supposed to think that you can do something for me. Maybe you need to talk to someone. Here, there's this woman, Rose. Okay, she runs an antique shop, and she's gifted. She knows about visions and things. She's been giving me some guidance. Give her a call. There's a desk down on the end you can sit at to call. All right. That's the conversation I saw a piece of earlier. I'm going to go think... Sure thing. This is the score for the Pats game John was following. Patriots and Redskins. Patriots and Boyd. Whoa. So, I don't know how I know it, but I know who's going to win that game. I didn't even need to focus. Hello again, Agent McCoy. Hello, miss. What do you need? Is that game still going on? If by game you mean slaughter, then yes. My team's slaughter is progressing well. Double yeah. your bet. What? Double your bet. The Patriots are going to win 22 to 20. Get out of here. You are off your nut, lady. They can't come back. Plus, that's, that score doesn't make any sense. How are they going to get to 22? They will. If they don't, I'll cover the whole bed, and you can triple it. Give your man my name, Cordelia Smith. Okay, Cordelia, pleasure to uh, finally know your name. Yeah. You're really serious, aren't you? This is life or death. All right, looks like Vinny accepted, and <laughs> who wouldn't a crazy bet like that? Okay, listen, kid, I, I don't know where you're getting these crazy ideas of yours, but I can see you're really fighting for this. This matters to you. You know, I'm going to regret that I ever said this, but <sighs> call it a hunch. I'll help you. Really? Thank you so much. But if any of this starts to smell funny, I am out. All right? I'll open a new case here. 
Have it assigned a case number and boom. Okay, tell me what you know. And I can't stop thinking about this. Look, I can see you're scared, but it isn't exactly federal, so I can't just drop everything and run it for you. Here, this is the case number. You see that number? You can check up on any progress just by referencing it. Okay. And thank you so much, John. Really, thank you. Thank you for all your help, Agent McCoy. I need to go, but I'll be in touch. Okay, I'm starting. John, you were working with her? You were helping her? I don't believe this. Okay, this is a tutkimus. Korobeus tarvittaisi paikalle nyt sitten. I don't know what to say. It's not really my thing. I wonder if she falls asleep peacefully in here. This must be her junk drawer. Just a bunch of knickknacks inside. All right, let's see. There's a folder stashed in here. Davies. I wish we could have found this days ago. And there's clearly something being planned for McAdams. She has to look in this. Prisoner is gone, but the cell is still here. 
Ugh, hideous. I'd have nightmares if I had to sleep near that thing. A few necklaces and bracelets. I can't tell much from it. I prefer handcuffs. <laughs> I am awake. I was worried. Just be okay. Could you at least get me something? Hey, kiddo. I'm not very good at telling stories anymore. It's been a while. Do you remember the last time we were here like this? <laughs> I must have been 12. I was at your bedside. And I was trying to get you to talk. Dad had me playing one of those business deal games with you. Remember those? God, they were awful. For this one, I had to get you to trade me some toy you loved. And he would refuse to speak to me until I'd struck a deal. And as I was trying to cut a deal, you started to get pale. And you threw up on my shoes. Mom had to take you off to bed and you stayed there, sick and sweaty, for like three days. I was there with you, begging you to wake up so that I could finish making that deal with you. But you didn't wake up. And for those three days, Dad wouldn't talk to me, wouldn't respond to me, wouldn't even look at me. Cordelia, I wanted you to wake up so that I could finish the deal and Dad would talk to me again. But now, I want you to wake up so that I'll know you're okay. Please, wake up. I am awake. I am awake. I am awake. The thousand fuck mugginess and I'm gonna say hit her. I am awake! Cordelia! Hey kid. Glad to see you're back. I was worried. I cancelled a teleconference to be here with you. <laughs> so it's official. You're more important than two <laughs> Australian businessmen. How are you feeling? Ugh. Like someone's been stacking sandbags in my head. I'm so glad you're back. We didn't know what happened and we had no idea how serious it was. If it was a fainting or a coma. And if it was a coma, if you were gone that long, I don't know what I'd do. Thank you, Keith. Um, hey, maybe we should let her rest, huh? She's finally back and now you're trying to kick me out. No, I'm staying here until I see she's better. No, it's okay, Keith. I'm feeling better, really. You should get back to working. Don't let me having a little headache throw off your day. I don't know. I know you're protective, but I'm not going anywhere. I'm fine. Go. All right, just please be okay. He's so worried. It's that same look in his eyes that was there when Mom and Dad died. Max, what happened? How, how did I get here? I don't know what happened. I was in my office and suddenly I heard you cry out. I ran out and, and saw, saw you on the ground. We weren't sure if you hit your head, so it's quite a relief to have you talking right now. Max, I need to tell you something. I passed out because I saw it. something awful. I didn't just see it. I, I felt it. It was you getting killed, Max. What do you mean, saw? Saw how? Remember how I could always win the shell game at the Topsfield Fair? Yeah, but that was luck, Cordelia. You've always had a lucky streak. Look, I wanted Keith out of here because I didn't want him to worry. But I'm making a point of telling you because I do want you to worry. You need to be careful. We wouldn't be living on the 33rd floor if I'd been careful, Cordelia. Sorry. I'm just under a lot of pressure lately. Look, I don't know what you want here. I wasn't planning on taking candy for many strangers, but nor am I going to live in a vault until you give me the all clear. <sighs> okay. Could you at least get me something? It's in the desk drawer over there. But you have to push the catch that's underneath or it won't open. Sure. When we're done talking. 
Hey, did you get Keith to sign those papers? Here you go. Signed? Great! This makes things much easier. Thank you. You're the best sister I've ever had. And by that logic, also the worst. Yeah. True, you are also the worst. Mom and Dad's anniversary is coming up. What are you talking about? They married in the spring. No, I mean the crash. The accident. Oh, yeah. I guess it is coming up. You know, I hate it when you call that the anniversary. It's not a happy thing. I'll be sure to leave that day clear so we can go visit their graves. I helped out Keith, got him back on track, and now he's onto a new project. He's a machine. Sometimes more literally than I'd like. Has he remembered to eat today? Oh, he's fine. It's good when he gets engaged. Maybe he'll pop out something brilliant we can make, market, and sell. Yeah. It's part of why having so little media exposure is good for him. For all of us. If any of the tech firms found out how brilliant he is at this stuff, they'd kill us in our sleep to get him. The last thing we need is someone trying to pull this family apart. You know, sometimes I wish you'd see him as your brother. I do, Cordelia, I do. He's my genius brother. There's this name, What's Jeff that? Therian, on one of these papers Keith thing. signed. Is that a mistake? What? No, it's fine. He's just another person who's mixed up in all of this. But I feel I've heard that name before. And why is it on Keith's claim release? Oh, I wouldn't know. This is all lawyer stuff. Scorobius drafted these up. Well, I'll uh -huh. ask him about it then. Cordelia. I'm sure it's nothing. Just let it go. The lucky, lucky me, I a Mom's necklace? I haven't seen this thing in years. I've been keeping it safe. She saw me, really saw me. Before it was just glimpses, but I think she really knows who I am now. I can't see you anymore, but I know you're there. And I'm glad I've got you on my side. Hmm. <laughs> This must be her junk drawer. Just a bunch of knickknacks inside. Could be anything under. Let's see what you've got in here. What the fuck? It was clear someone was playing a game with me, but seeing all the details calculated out, God, it makes my skin crawl.
the order in which they suffered. Okei, niitä on peitattu tänne niinku tuolla noin. Cordelia. Okei. Aside from the journal, the drawer also has a folder with notes on John and Sully. I'll grab that as well. Let's see. John McCoy, big and and idiot. Okay. Painella Erikan nappeja tällä. Niin se on kaikille agenteille, jotka toimii siellä toimistossa siinä maksin kuoleman aikoihin, niin haluaa kostaa. Even psycho Even psychopaths need a place to write out checks and pay the bills. Mm, Keith, there are agents here from the FBI. What's going on? How would I know? Maybe they're here to take Max away for whatever he's hiding from us. That's what I'm asking about. You do have a tendency to overreact, and this would fit neatly into the category of overreaction. Uh. Honestly, 
You honestly think that I... No, Keith. That's why I'm asking, because I don't know. But I am worried. Something about this doesn't feel right. I would never... Ah, no, that's the power. I'll just take the. Hey, don't touch anything here until after we've been through it. Ah, uh, boss. I'm sorry. It's been a long day. It's about to be a longer one. Let's go. Go? What do you mean? You... No. To the station. These papers we found beg some questions. Questions we want to ask in a more... controlled environment. Sam, let's go. Oh, no. No. They can't do that. I need to stop them. Rose said some events are malleable and can be shaped. Maybe I can do that now. Deal done. It's very fancy looking. Weird because Keith normally hates this kind of extravagance and just prefers cheap ballpoints. I've heard him go on at length about this. What's the deal with the fancy pen? That's not your kind of thing. Remember the handheld tracker I mentioned working on the other day? Okay. That's right, you talked about that. So what does it track? It should be able to follow any non-ferrous metal. I don't understand. It doesn't track any one specific thing. You put metal near it, press the button, and it will stay locked onto that. It beeps more the closer you get to the target. Wow, this is amazing, Keith. I'll just take these. Hmm. I've set the pen to track this. Okay. Huh. I'll just put this near him. Maybe it'll calm him down. Että jotain pisti tuohon. Sinne ei tarvitse olla paperia. Son, I see you hiding over there. I'm a federal agent. I have some questions. Sorry, Keith. <laughs> Excuse me. Can I just cut in for a second? No, you can't. We're busy here. What could Max have done to get FBI agents investigating him? Max wouldn't do anything bad. I really need to see some financial records from you, Mr. Smith. Uh, of course. But let me ask you something first. Been able Again, me. Hello, Anton Towers' main office. Scorobius? You're down in the office? Oh, Cordelia, it's you. Grazie I couldn't Apple. imagine who'd be calling. Do you need something? There are FBI agents here talking to Max. I don't like it. Do you have any idea what's going on? No, but rest assured that after dealing with headhunting investors and city government officials, a few federal agents will be a cakewalk. 
Max can handle himself. We need some files brought up. It has to do with the investigation. Do you mind? Oh, very well. Files pertaining to what? Bring up some old financial records. How old? Last year? Yes, that will be fine. But don't just bring them up and put them anywhere. We need to be careful. What shall I do with them? Give them to Max. Very well. I'll be up momentarily. Excuse me, sir. What are you doing? This man is under investigation. Did I just see you try to hand him something? Oh, yes. Sorry. Didn't realize it would be an issue. Yes. These might have what we're looking for. They should shed light on a few things. I'm gonna have to ask you some questions. No, se on lakimiehen homma. No niin. Muuten nopeasti ylhäällä. I think it's clear. No. Okay, I need to get these somewhere safe. My room. I need to hide these. The closet is probably the best place to do that. I really want to know what's so important about this. Let's see. And we aver that the above entitled party will find their summary package duly executed in the event... I can't do it. The legalese is too much. I'll be asking Max and Scorobius about this. Jos kuoleman tapauksessa niin edun saajasta on kyse. I'll hide them in here. Tän hyvä paikka. We'll be in touch if we need anything else from you, Mr. Smith. Thank you for your cooperation. Max. FBI agents? Max! What the hell is going on? Why were they here? I was upstairs being questioned. I... I need to calm down. Easy, Keith. Easy. It's no big deal. It's just a little mix-up. Uh -huh. No! You can't put me through something like that and then blow it off like it's nothing! But it is nothing, really. Tell him, Cordelia. No, Max. You had me hide something. What's going on? I knew it! You've been hiding things all along, being secretive so you can push us away. You're trying to push me out of this partnership and out of this family, aren't you? What? Of course not. That's not what's going on. Look, we can't be fighting. I need both of you on my side right now. For what? Tell us what's going on. Scorobius and I have been working on something, but I can't. We just can't talk about it yet. If you're not going to give us an explanation after the FBI just finished leaving our home, then you need to think hard about your priorities, Max. Mm. Cordelia, let me take care of this, okay? Just like you took care of the FBI agents? What would have happened if they'd gotten those papers, Max? We don't do this. Where are your priorities? Clearly not with family. We don't keep secrets from each other. So what do you have to say, Max? What I have to say is this is bullshit. Both of you. I have always taken care of you two so that you can have your perfect little lives. But when it reverses, when I need something, you run around like a bunch of simpering infants. I don't have time for this. We are not done here, Max. I don't like what's happening to him, Cordelia. Our perfect little lives? Does he think he's the king and the savior now? <sighs> Let's just step away from this, try to collect ourselves, and talk about this when we're all more calm. Yeah, I guess that's the best idea right now.
Something was definitely going on with this family. And something was definitely weighing on Max. This thing that he and Scorobius were working on. I need to know more about it. What's this? These are notes on the hangman and the wise monkey. I'll take this. City. I don't worry about the past, Agent, because the present is where there's work to be done. Where is John? I know he was here. Yes, we established that earlier. He helped with the scene outside, then left. I don't believe you. John was inside this building, and I guarantee he's still here now. Agent, you'd better back down. You're really pushing your luck. What do you know about Jeff Therian? Therian? How do you know that name? How do you know it? It's none of your concern, Agent. Keep your focus on your cases. I'd love to, if you didn't keep stealing them from me. <laughs> your cases, Agent. You were not brought in for this investigation. See you around. I hope not. Kolmikerroksinen pilvenpiirte. <laughs> 